this is Head Bus Unboxing, and we are back in the house. And it is getting hot over in the UK for matchroom boxing and uh, UKAD, BBBFC, WADA, VADA, and whoever else that might have been involved in the, uh, the, the Oscar Rivas and Dillian White fight. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and jump into this article about the boxing scene. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just going to read what I feel like is important. But it says, letter from Team Revis lawyers might foretell lawsuit. Okay. Um, and it says, uh, interview posted on uh, Boxing UK on July 31st, Hearn was asked, is the relationship okay with Ivan Michael? I don't think he's happy with the process, Hearn answered, but I think he's happy with the way that I handled the procedure. <laughs> now, if you don't know who Ivan Michael is, that's um, that's Oscar Rivas' promoter. But anyway, uh, the article says that might be optimistic thinking on Hearn's part. On August 9th, Stephen Taylor, health of JMW solicitors, a law, uh, excuse me, a law firm with a with offices in London, Manchester, and Liverpool, sent letters on behalf of group Ivan Michael and Rebus to Matchroom, White, UKAD, and the BBC. The letters are not claim letters, but they ask for information that might be relevant to a legal claim. In the United Kingdom, litigation is likely to start with a letter of complaint in the form of one, a lawyer's letter setting out the nature of the complaint, including the damage suffered. Two, a request for any further information which would be required to substantiate the claim. Three, a request for a response within 14 days. White has denied any wrongdoing in the matter. On July 26, he posted a statement on social media that read, I am so disappointed with the rubbish that has been said about me over the last few days. I have lawyers dealing with it, and I have been told that I can't talk about it for good legal reasons. I was cleared to fight, and I won the fight fair and square. Yes, he was cleared, but the way they rule things, or the way they are, uh, the protocol is over there. They can't, they can't suspend you or consider you guilty of being dirty or whatever or using pads until the B sample comes in. And because the fight was only three days away, the B sample wouldn't have made it in time for them to say you're guilty, etc., etc. So based off of their protocol, that's why he was allowed to fight. Now, if the fight would have been, I don't know, three months later and the B sample would have came in and it would have said he would have been dirty, then the fight would have been postponed, I would assume. Excuse me, but it says a uh, possible cause of action relevant to the information being sought by group Ivan Michael and Rivas vary with regard to each potential defendant. For example, it might be alleged that Matchroom breached a contractual duty of care that is owed to Rebus and failed to disclose matter uh, material facts. White, on the other hand, did not owe Rebus a duty of care but had other legal responsibilities with regard to the fight. A lawsuit by group Ivan Michael and Rebus might also explore the question of how many other times, if any, the BBB of C has allowed a boxer to compete after a positive drug test without notifying the, op the opposing fighters camp on the positive test result. Now, like I said, no, and that's, that's all I'm gonna read, that's it for the article. But like I said before, this is much bigger, bigger than Dillian White. This is much bigger than Eddie Hearn. Is Eddie Hearn uh, negligible in my opinion? Yes, because the fact that he was the head promoter, he was the guy running the show, he should have notified um, Oscar Rivas, Ivan Michael, and anybody else in that team that he was aware of what took place with Dillian White. Now, I understand Dillian White is his, is his fighter, but still, when... 
AJ was supposed to be fighting Big Baby Miller before Big Baby Miller's B sample came in dirty. Eddie Hearn, he said when he found out the news, the first thing he did was call Dillian White, I mean, excuse me, Anthony Joshua. And he found out in the middle of the night, so he called AJ in the middle of the night, about three in the morning. So if you had enough common sense, even, I mean, like, okay, even if you didn't, even if you wasn't contractually obligated, to call Oscar Rebus or Ivan Michael or whoever in the camp to make them aware of the situation. Just human decency. Now, Eddie Hearn has gone out and said that the reason why he did not make it known because a contra, uh, can, can, I, I can't even uh, pronounce the word. Basically, he, he wasn't allowed to um, because of a clause in the, in the contract with the with the uh, UK AD, um, so as far as the UK AD and the BBB of Seagulls, to me those are the big fish. Eddie Hearn and Dillian White are like are like guppies or whatever. Those are the whales because, like you said. Eddie Hearn isn't the one in charge of all of the fights that come in. They're not in charge of all of the people that are being tested or all of the people that come over there or that fights over there, um, drug test results and whether they're being uh, put out there when somebody fails or not. So the big targets really is the BBBFC and the UK, the UK AD. So this... This has the uh, potential to get extremely ugly. And a lot of heads could roll because of this. And Robert W. Smith might be one of them. But we'll, uh, we'll stay tuned and uh, keep you updated on what's going on as news come in. But I expect a lawsuit because you put the man in danger. And uh, that's, it, it is what it is. And whether Eddie Hearn... Uh, can stand by some type of clause in a contract and say he didn't have to make him aware of that. To me, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But anyway, this is Hair Bust and Box and Fight Doctor. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Is it a lawsuit coming? Should it be a lawsuit coming? I mean, after all, the B sample hasn't been uh, cleared yet or found dirty. But, um, uh, so all of this is basically being based off of the A sample. But like I said, let me know what you think. Is, is something big going to come out of this? Is heads going to roll? Are some of these commissions and groups and whatever, whatever? Are some of the big heads going to get chopped off for this? Or is it all going to get put on Dillian White? Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know this hair busting box and fight doctor. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. This is hair busting, hair busting boxing's own fight doctor. I am out.